Hello guys and welcome back to the vlog. I hope you're all doing really well. As you can tell, I'm not at home. I'm currently on a little staycation in London. I have shown you guys this hotel quite a few times before. It's one of my favourites in London just because it's so, so beautiful. The interiors are lovely. It's huge. The baths are amazing. I'll do a quick little room tour as well. The reason I'm here is because I've got a campaign to shoot, well, two campaigns to shoot for the same brand. And my apartment is still very much upside down. It's funny, we've been having work done to the flat now for about a month and there's actually not a lot to show for it. I feel like the things we've had done are so minor that only i would notice them but anyway it means that it's completely upside down and chaotic and what i'm shooting is really kind of like calming and just got that luxury feel to it which definitely isn't my apartment right now and i just thought to get rid of any stress i'm just going to book a hotel room shoot the campaign here and yeah just have a really nice self-care luxury kind of stay because i have also been just really stressed recently i actually put on my stories yesterday saying I just feel like I'm chasing my tail constantly and I feel kind of overwhelmed and I feel my best when I'm ticking off things off my to-do list and right now I feel like I'm rushing everything um, and I just said who else feels the same expecting it to kind of be 50-50 there's like 97% of you girls also saying that you felt the same and honestly that made me feel so much better in myself and not because I don't want anyone else to feel stressed but I really give myself a hard time when I'm not on top of things so knowing that I wasn't the only one definitely made me feel better. But yeah, I'm such a home person. I love being at home, but I have to admit it feels really nice to be in like the calm of this room. Um, it's so quiet. I've actually just been sat here doing a TikTok unboxing. I have got myself a really special birthday present. Um, I turn 26 next Monday and I always get myself a present, but this one feels really extra special and i'm going to show you what it is and tell you why it's special so this bag has been on my wish list for quite some time now and i saw it online at zoops i've mentioned zoops a lot of times before but if you don't know them they are a pre-loved luxury um resale brand they have like they have all the brands on there they also do watches and jewelry um, but i always keep an eye on what bags they have so this bag is actually the same age as me we are both 1997 and it just felt so fitting to get a bag that was 1997 for my birthday so i picked up the chanel classic flap in the mini size this is the square mini because they also have like a rectangular mini and honestly i just love it so much to me this is perfection yeah i wanted the mini because i wear my medium and um, black chanel classic flap all the time and sometimes like even for evenings and nights when i don't need a lot of room and the reason i bought it pre-loved is because chanel's price increases are honestly wild i personally think they are too overpriced for what they are and secondly the vintage chanel's are always better quality um for example this is 24 karat gold whereas the new ones are i think they're just like a gold colored metal and i mean this is nearly 26 years old and considering it is in such good condition. So yeah, I do always recommend buying them pre-loved. I'll just show you it on my shoulder. It's actually a really nice length. Um, it's not too long. I thought it was gonna be a bit longer than this, but it's actually perfect. And there we go. And then this is it crossbody as well. Um, there was another bag on site, which was like the newer version of, that was a thousand pounds more. And I think it was like 2014, but it looked a lot newer than this. Like it was really plump. Obviously the um, quilting on this is completely flat. So you can tell it's um, a vintage model. Um, but yeah, there's just something about the 1997 thing that I really like. So yeah, I'm um, going out for dinner tonight. I'm definitely going to wear it for the first time, which I'm very excited for. Um, anyway, the time now is coming up to five o'clock. So I'm going to start filming this campaign, get it done really early so I'm not stressing. And then I'm meeting my boyfriend for dinner in the hotel. This bath is one of my favourite things about this room. Like, look at the amazing views out the windows. So dreamy. And then as you saw behind me, there's this big four poster bed. Um, which is so cool. Um, got a full length mirror, and here are the bathrooms. Uh, this is my outfit of the day, by the way. I've got a Loewe top, Arquette trousers, and I just wore this with like a trench over the top, so quite simple and basic, but um, an outfit I really like. Got like a little wardrobe section here, and then a lounge 
area here a cute little sitting area but yeah how nice are these interiors they're so gorgeous good afternoon guys i have been terrible at vlogging i was so stressed yesterday after i spoke to you i started filming this campaign and i thought this is going to be really easy this is just my routine this is what i do every day so i all have to do is film it no it was so difficult part of the routine is in the shower and filming yourself in the shower without getting your camera wet and doing it in an aesthetic way and not getting your naked body on camera is so difficult um so it honestly took me hours way longer than i expected and then i couldn't think of an ending and then i edited it back i didn't like it and then we had dinner at eight so i went to dinner and i was just really stressed so i did not vlog at all then I got up this morning at 7, started filming at 7.30 and I haven't stopped until now and it's now 3.30. So in all honesty, I haven't had a second to um, stop and actually chat to you guys and show you stuff. That was four videos in total and I submitted the final piece um, just now. So I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders and now I can relax. So yeah, I'm going to get my stuff together. It's actually raining outside, but I'm going to go get the tube to, to Selfridges and I'm going to have a little look around Selfridges, maybe get some snacks for later. Um, oh yeah, I also extended my Day. I was supposed to be here for one night I'm now here for two I just thought I haven't had a proper chance to get the content I want and actually enjoy the hotel so I'm having a little solo night tonight which will be really nice I think I need this time just to relax and de-stress I'm gonna have a bath I'm gonna order room service I'm so so excited but yeah I'm dying for some fresh air um so I'm gonna get my trench coat on and get on my merry way please can i order some room service and uh, can i please order the um battered cod and chips one portion with um, a side of um lots of ketchup um yes can i please get a glass of white wine okay lovely thank you so much bye bye so my dinner has arrived and my wine and i'm gonna sit in bed and watch um watch just her luck i started it the other day and i didn't manage to finish it um, and I'm honestly loving it so far. It's like such an old film that I've never seen. Good afternoon, guys. I'm now home in the apartment. It feels so good to be home. I miss the bunnies so much. So I've got quite a busy afternoon of doing lots of things and sorting around the apartment, including a bit of a wardrobe organize. Um, so I'll take you guys through that. But first of all, I have my new sofa. Um, let me show you properly. I'm honestly so happy with it. I just think it fits the space so perfectly. I'll put a little clip on screen of how it was before. But basically the sofa was a lot smaller than this and I don't know, it just felt like it really got swallowed by the space. If you watch my vlogs, you will know that I ordered this um, about 10 weeks ago from Harrods. Well, it's Bow Concept via Harrods. Um, and the good thing about getting it through Harrods is I got lots of points. Um, but yeah, it's really lovely tweed material. So it's soft, but it's also going to be really durable. And then it comes with these three cushions and I ordered an extra three to go sit in front and yeah i'm just really happy i just need to change the rug now because this is far too small so the rug needs to kind of stop about either after the sofa so about here or maybe like here not really sure yet I need a coffee table i'm gonna sort out this this is like the just here the markings on the wall is where the tv and fireplace are gonna sit and then we're gonna get paneling on this back wall here because it's just so kind of big and plain I need it needs a bit of detail another major update is we finally have curtains which I'm so happy about it makes the place feel so much more like cozy and homely I ordered these ones from John Lewis it's the made to measure service and they are actually so so good and um, they came and they measured them they made them so like they hit the ground perfectly these are just the royals and yeah I can't decide if I'm going to get some more curtains as well like some white ones here um which aren't foil but um or just leave it like this i don't know let me know your thoughts and then these are what we have in the bedroom so it's the foil but then like a satin over the top these are blackout curtains so really good for getting a good night's sleep here's an up close of the fabric it's really nice it feels very luxurious again these are john lewis but the designer is called designers guild it's in their tiber fabric shade mushroom right now my task is to sort out my room because all of this needs to be cleared out of this room ready for monday which is when i'm getting my wardrobes fitted 
Honestly, this is the room I'm most excited about because everything has been completely designed by me, getting the bespoke wardrobes fitted and everything's gonna have a place, which right now, quite clearly, it really doesn't. So yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is put things into boxes or bags that I know I'm not gonna use in the next week. I need to also clear all of these because these drawers are gonna go in my wardrobe in my bedroom temporarily before I get those ones made. I also need to sort out this wardrobe. This is the wardrobe in my bedroom because I need to get all of these coats and move them somehow up here or somewhere else so I can put my chest of drawers in here. And I'm actually having work done in this room tomorrow. This kind of PVC door vibe, which is very squeaky, is getting replaced with like some really beautiful French doors. So I also need to make sure this room is in like um, good shape for the workmen. So yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is put you guys on a time lapse and run through all of this as quickly as I possibly can. <laughs> Okay, so the first job I set myself to do is done, which is clearing all of the coats and stuff out of here. I've just left a couple of like shorter hanging pieces because what I'm doing in this wardrobe is having one rail for like short bits like lounge and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna have drawers all the way down here and then more storage up the top here. So for now, I've put all my coats up here. All of my winter ones I'm not gonna wear anytime soon. Eventually I'll put these into like a proper storage container so it looks a bit more nice. Pippin. Pippin, don't do that. When she's bored, she just sometimes tries to bite his bum for no reason. There you go. So you're not bored, you just want attention. Look at boy, he's now angry because I'm not giving him attention. There you go, you have attention too. Yeah, it's better, isn't it? guys how are you happy sunday i've just got back from um brighton i've been celebrating my birthday um with my parents today and i've just got home into fresh pajamas because i always like to wear fresh pajamas going into my birthday which is tomorrow um fresh pajamas and fresh sheets is just something really nice about that but yeah where i left you guys before was doing my wardrobe clear out and i actually decided to keep everything on the rail so these are all of my hanging clothes that i own on this rail and everything else i've put into like storage bags so like heavy winter knits um heavy blazers heavy coats all of that kind of thing so now all that's left to sort is a couple bits and bobs here and there and then these drawers which i'll do with you guys in a minute so yeah these are the things i have put away so cable knits like this kind of print i think is really better for autumn winter not spring um but yeah i've kept out like some knits and some coats that are good for that transitional period and here's everything I own on a hanger. I've also picked up some new things. Um, oh, is it light? Okay, should I put you guys on something else? I've also done a little haul in preparation for my new room. Um, well, there's a bit of a mix of things. So I picked up these big plastic bags for storage. These are good because they're see-through, um, which honestly just really helps. Saves you like digging through boxes, trying to remember what is in each box. I also ordered, these 
which on camera don't look like a lot, but um, what they do is if you put them into high heels, they keep the heels straight and looking nice. So like when they're presented, it looks good. I ordered loads of these. These are shoe inserts. Very boring, but they're kind of like the nicest ones I could find really that um, were quite minimal looking. So these just keep your shoes nice and straight. Currently I have a lot of shoes just stuffed with like tissue paper basically because I hate it when um, shoes get creased. Also picked up my favourite, favourite smell from Zara. This is their diffuser. I've already got one in this room. But I wanted a fresh one. This is their signature collection. This smells so good. I think I've spoken about it to you guys before. Also picked up some toothpaste. Very unrelated but buying these toothpastes in this kind of packaging honestly so much better i don't know i find it more hygienic it's easier to use less faff i always get these ones i also got both b and myself some ice rollers for the face i always wake up with an extremely puffy face and i love ice rolling well i love using an ice cube on my face so I thought I would make it official and get proper ice rollers. But yeah, there's loads of benefits to ice rolling. So got one for me and one for B. Also got both B and myself these TikTok headbands. I feel like all the cool girls wear these on TikTok when they do their skincare. And it looks ridiculous on me. I look like a, a fairy. Um, B's got a blue one as well. Yeah, but actually it is quite nice just to have everything on your face, isn't it? So, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and empty some of these drawers um, so I can then put them in my bedroom. I want to show you like a final bedroom reveal, French door reveal, but they didn't actually finish it yesterday. Um, there's so many little things I don't know about. Like I ordered um, the wrong size architrave for like a few mil. So I need to reorder that. The handles I ordered weren't quite long enough. Just like little boring things like that that I don't know about. Um, but yeah, so just, it's not done basically. My boyfriend is getting here in about an hour. So I'm gonna try to do all of this before he gets here. So yeah, let's get a wiggle on. Good afternoon guys, it's my birthday, I'm officially 26, I'm on the other side of my 20s now. We had such a nice day, I didn't actually vlog any of it, but um, we went to Bacchanalia, I think that's how you say it, in Mayfair. It's amazing, like I've had really mixed reviews from there, like the staff are bad, the food's average, I thought the staff were amazing and I thought the food was actually really nice, but we were there like on a Monday afternoon, so I don't know what it's like at the weekend, for example. But anyway, this vlog is mostly about the wardrobe, so let me give you an update. We moved this drawer system out my wardrobe yesterday and into this bedroom wardrobe. So this is where I'm going to keep all of my like everyday casual wear, gym sets, underwear, pyjamas, that kind of thing and there is a big wardrobe update i'm so excited to show you so obviously this is a work in progress this is day one out of three or four so i'm going to show you the process and then once it's all done i'm going to show you like a proper final dressing room tour which is honestly like the dream video i've wanted to do it for years um so i'm so excited but are you ready okay let me show you so this is what we have so far and it is twice as big as i had imagine but, um yeah i've gone for this really lovely oak wood it's so gorgeous such a nice color and we have one two three four compartments here for short hanging we've got a long hanging bit here um lots of compartments lots of drawers gonna go here all my bags and shoes are gonna go here so it's day one and they've got like the bulk of it up but it's the bits that are coming later to make it all pretty, that is what really excites me. This is the only footage I managed to get on day two, but they started to put in the white wood around the edges. This is Farrow and Ball Windborne White, and it's a beautiful creamy off-white. And they also installed the LED lighting, and I wasn't sure whether to go for this or not, but I'm so glad I did. It just really transforms the room. Okay, you ready? Oh my God! <gasps> oh my God! <laughs> This is stunning. This is huge. 
huge. It's big, isn't it? It's actually I big. thought this was going to be really small. Oh my god, this is stunning. Oh my god, look at these. I know. So cool. The hell, it's literally like Princess Diaries. I feel like, yeah. And the, the... Cornice. Yeah. Yeah, I love the cornice. Oh my god, it looks amazing. Oh. Time to put the door back on. They have. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, this is so cool, isn't it? <laughs> I'm so happy. It's perfect. It is stun elation. <laughs> Ignore the way I'm looking right now. It's been a long day and um, I'm still not feeling 100%, but um, I just wanted to jump on because today was the last day of wardrobe installation. Like, it's all done and I just feel so, so lucky and so grateful for for that space to be done. I don't know why like, I'm getting teary here. I know it's ridiculous because it's a dressing room, but... Um, my wardrobe is such a huge part of my job and it's always something I've just dreamed of. Like I just can't believe it's mine and I get to use it every single day. And um, this was actually the biggest expense in the flat. So um, when we moved in I had um, a budget and I allocated different things to different areas. And the quote I ended getting was so much more than the budget I put aside. So I was really kind of stressed about it for quite a while thinking you know, I've spent too much. Is this silly? Should I strip it back? Should I go more basic? I'm just so happy that it's paid off and I don't feel like my money has been wasted at all. I just feel so, so happy. And I know it's ridiculous as well, but honestly, I wouldn't be in this position if it wasn't for you guys um, watching my content and enjoying my content and just being there on this journey. So thank you. Um, I've just picked up my camera again because I wanted to mention RK Carpentry who did my wardrobe. I'll link all of their uh, details down below because they have been incredible so professional so lovely to have in the flat because i've had contractors in like most days for the last month or so and honestly i, I really don't like it i find it really stressful having lots of people in the flat i find mess stressful and these guys have just been so tidy so lovely and they just got in early did their stuff i didn't have to worry about them at all all i had to worry about was making sure they had their cups of tea and that was it so uh yeah big shout out to them Good morning guys i'm up bright and early we've got a long day today it feels like christmas i'm um i just feel so 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 like lucky and i um, grateful to have had this done. Uh, today, Carla Webster is coming over and we're gonna fill it up together. She's like a wardrobe professional and um, I've known her for years. So um, she's she's coming up to London and we're gonna organize it all together, which is like the really fun part. I'm like, less, it was finished yesterday and it took a lot of willpower not to start putting all my stuff in. But yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a empty wardrobe tour quickly so we can do lots of befores and afters. So, I just think I'm gonna come home tonight and it'll be a new flat. Yeah, yeah, because obviously right now we're living, this is our living room, um, so it's going to be nice to have some... And the coving. Oh yeah, we're getting the coving done as well today actually, which is exciting. So a lot is happening all at once, which is really great. Okay guys, so the finished wardrobe is here. I'm so, so happy. So we've got all of these amazing LED lighting and it just really makes such a difference. So this is where all of my clothes are gonna go. We've also gone for these uh, Joseph Giles hardware for the rails, um, which again, were a little bit of an expense, but actually I think it's so worth it because they just look so expensive. And they've got all of these shelving bits here and um, look at this, this is one of my favorite parts. So you've got two drawers that pulls out like this. And then here's all of the shelving for my shoes and my bags. And yeah, just all the details, like the cornice and the lighting, and um, the handles, the handles aren't actually Joseph Charles, these ones are from Corston to match with the other hardware in the house. Um, but yeah, I'm honestly so excited to fill this up. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. This is exactly how my inspo images were, pretty much, but um, yeah, I couldn't be happier. Thank you guys, I've got the lovely party here. 
welcome you today, the wardrobe queen. And we have made really good headway so far. So we've Looks done. So good. I do a little sneak peek, but I want to do like a proper wardrobe tour. So I'm just going to show you guys us putting this side in now. We've got our little diet cokes here for the energy. And um, yeah, also look what Carla's just done. Is it this drawer? No, no. one. Look how amazing. She's even got a little label that says jeans. So nice. Black on this side. No, black, no. We'll try and fit it in one. So do you do the blazers away then? I wait like, yeah, so yeah. you'll see the back of it. Oh, Is yeah. it cleaner? Oh, okay, good point. So Carla and I are having a very well-deserved lunch break. We've been doing this now for how long? We've got here at like 9, 30. Um, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. See, so yeah, like five hours. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, we have taken our time as well, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, we have. Enjoying it. Yeah, it's looking great so far. So it's now a few days later and I left you when Carla and I were having lunch, but not a lot changed after that. We were more just sorting out all of like the remaining items um, that I had floating around the flat. So yeah, I thought before I wrapped this vlog up, I'll give you guys a apartment update because I've had lots of things done since I last checked in. And of course, show you the finished result of the wardrobe. Shall we do that first? I think we should. <laughs> I got ready for the first time to um, shoot a campaign today. And it's honestly game changing having everything on show. I can see everything so clearly. I don't make any mess because everything has a place. It's just, it's changed my life, it's amazing. So this is the view when you walk in. I love the fact that everything is mirrored so it just makes it feel so much bigger. And what I'm gonna do is give you guys a full wardrobe tour, um, maybe in, maybe my next video or something um but yeah just to give you like a visual look around this is how it's looking i also have this remote here which is really cool because you can like dim the lights you can make them brighter you can turn some off some on so um yeah this has a little place here and then all of my shoes and bags are on this shelf here and i'm so happy that carla came in and helped me because i thought i had quite a good visual eye for things but she just knows all of these little tips and tricks that um i'll try to share as much as i can with you guys in my wardrobe tour that has just made such a difference and i just would not have done such a good job yeah she's just great and she smashed it so yeah you guys are gonna see so many videos in this room now because it's such a great space for filming i also had a question on instagram saying so are these literally all of your clothes in your wardrobe and the answer is kind of so this is all of my spring wardrobe i like to do uh, seasonal switchovers so anything for summer and winter is under my bed so yeah this is my entire spring wardrobe i've also got uh, bits in these drawers and these drawers as well like you know little tops and things you don't really want to hang um anyway now we've got the decorator coming in about 10 minutes so i'm gonna quickly run you through the apartment and show you what else there is uh that's new okay so ignore the messy um kitchen and like the washing and stuff but we have had the coving put in all throughout the um living room kitchen dining i don't know there's something about it that feels really homely and i like the fact as well that it's quite like a modern style um, it just gives it that slightly more luxurious feel. So I'm really happy with that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get this throughout the whole flat. Also got it on um, the windows, but that's not really quite done yet. So it looks a bit dodgy right now, so I won't show you that. Um, and then quickly before the carpenter gets here, or then quickly before the decorator gets here, I am really excited about my French doors. I don't know if I've spoken to you guys about these on here, but before I had like this um, kind of like almost a garden door. It was really random. I was just gonna remove it so I had a bigger bedroom. But this space in here is gonna be my office and I thought actually it'll be really good to have that separation between work and like sleep. Um, and I actually think these doors are so, so beautiful. So really happy with these. Obviously they're still being painted and decorated. This needs plastering. And then here, Sorry guys, he just arrived, but quickly as well. We've got this pelmet in front of the curtains where the coving's gonna go. So it will just make it look really like tucked in and neat. 
Um, and yeah, oh, one more thing as well. I've finally got a flat wall here above my bed. You guys might remember there was a pillar here, which meant my bed couldn't go flat. So this took about like, this was a big job, it took about four days, but it's all done now. Um, I am just editing this video and about to upload it. I have been um, shooting a campaign all afternoon, like such an exciting campaign actually, I can't wait to show you. Um, so yeah, I'm a bit late on the upload, but um, I just wanted to say I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.